So now we're reaching close to the first stitch marker and we're going to stop right before the last stitch which is right before the stitch marker here. Now we're going to do our first raglan increase. The increase that's on the right of the stitch marker is going to be a right leaning increase and the one on the left side of the stitch marker is going to be a left leaning increase. Let me show you on this one what it looks like. As you can see here, the increases, this one is right leaning and then there's two stitches and then there's the left leaning increase and that's how it creates this very neat line all the way down until the end of the sleeve. So we're going to start with a right leaning increase. If you pull a bit on the needles, you'll see in middle there's this thread over here. We're going to take it and put it on the needle, the left needle, like this. The longer side should be in the back and the shorter side in the front. Now we need to go into the shorter side. It's very hard to get into it because it's so short, so I'm going to show you a trick that I do to get in it easily. We go through the back, around, and then we bring this needle around, and there we go. And now we could stretch it a little bit, hold it down in the back, and now it's easier to get go into it because it's a bit looser. There we go. See, we got in. And now we're going to knit it. And we just created a right leaning increase. Now we knit this one. Put the stitch marker over to the right needle. Now we're going to knit one. and do the left leaning increase. So again, we stretch the needles to the sides, we find that little piece in the middle, but this time we're gonna put the left needle into it from this side. Here we go, so now we have the long side in the front and the short side in the back. Now we're going to do the same trick as before to be able to get in it easily. We go into the front, cross over the needles, and we're in the back already. And we knit it normally. There we go. We just made a left leaning increase. Now we're going to knit normally up until the next stitch mark. <coughs> Sorry, the stitch right before the next stitch mark. Here we go, we've come to the last stitch right before the stitch mark. Let's stretch the needles and find that little piece over there. Put it on the left needle inside. The long is in the back and the short in the front. Now let's cross our needles over so we can get in there easily. Stretch it out. And we go, oops, that didn't work. Let me try again. There. And inside, there we go. This is the right leaning increase. Knit one. Put over the stitch mark to the other needle. Knit one. And now the left leaning increase. Let's find that little piece over there, put it over from the front, now let's cross over with the needles, now we got in, and knit the left leaning 
increase. Here we go. We're going to continue all these raglan increases all around this first increase row. I'll meet you at the end of this row. Here I am next to the last stitch marker. I'm going to do the right leaning increase, roll it over, stretch it out, go in, knit one, move over the stitch marker, knit one, put this on the other way, and there, okay. Now how do I always know when I finish a row because knitting in the round you can't always tell right away so I always look where my tail is where my tail is that's how I know that here is the beginning of a round so I'm going to knit until the middle okay so how can I tell exactly where the row started. So I'm gonna look on my ribbing. I know that I started my ribbing with two knits. So let's see, here's the tail and this is pearls. So this is still from the previous row. So I need another one, two. And here I could see that this was my first stitch from the ribbing. So this is the beginning of the new row. Now on the next row, two things are going to happen. First of all, this row is going to be only knitting, no increases. And I'm going to be switching to one row of white. Just like here, I did a row of white, so now I'm going to start with the white. Here I have my white yarn, it's exactly the same, Ice Lorena. Let me leave a little bit of a tail, doesn't need to be too long. And let me start knitting with the white. Simply go in and put the new color over and start knitting. So when I come to the stitch marker, I'm not going to be making an increase. I'm just going to be moving the stitch marker to this side. That's all. And then continue knitting normally. Here I'm coming to the next stitch marker. And knit all the way. And just move it over to the other needle. And continue all around this row. I'm now coming to the end of the row. This one is very easy to tell where is the end because you just see where I started the white. So I have a few more stitches. Okay. Now we're going to switch back to the green. So first of all, it's very important to make sure that when you're changing colors, the color that you're now going to put aside should be to the left and the new color that you're picking up should always come over it and that that creates as you see here this neat line and closes it up very nicely so you can barely tell where you're switching the colors so I'm gonna put the white to the side Oh, I did already. And here's the green over it. Now, you want to pull just a little bit, not too much, just a little bit so that it should be even. The green one. And we're going to continue knitting. This row is going to be an increase row. In the raglan, you're increasing every second row. One row increase, one row regular. One row increase, one row regular. So this row we're going to be increasing. 
and I want to show you how you could tell if you if you lose count what row you're on, how you could tell if you're on an increase row or on a regular niche row. Let me show you. When you come close to the stitch marker, so now I'm reaching the stitch mark and I want to show you how you could tell on which row you're on. If you're on an increase row or on a regular row, let me show you. On an increase row, you'll see that the previous increase, you could see it over here, the right leaning one, there's already a stitch over it from the previous row that we did, which means that now we're going to need to increase again. So we stitch this one because we need to reach the one right before the stitch marker. This one we knit and now we're going to do the increase, the right leaning one. Okay, here is our new increase and one regular knit, stitch marker over, one regular knit and now left leaning increase. As you could see the previous increase over here there's already a regular stitch right above it which means that now we're holding on an increase row. Left increase and there we go so we're going to continue now with the increases up until the end of the row and then start another green row without increases just regular knitting because as we see here the pattern is two green one white two green one white So now I'm continuing on the second green row and I just want to show you how it looks like when I'm on the row right after an increase row. How to tell if you already increased the row before. As you can see, the increase, the right leaning increase is right under the stitch that's on the needle which means that the previous row was a increase and so now I don't need to increase and just did, knit it normally. Here we could see also on the left one, you see it's right under the one that's on the needle, so we know that we don't need to increase this time. So now I'm finishing off the second green row and I'm gonna start again with the white. So the green thread we're gonna now put to the left and bring the white from under Pull it a little bit, as you can see it's pretty loose over there, so let's pull it, but not too much, there we go, you can play around with it a bit, and try and make it as equal as possible, there we go, and now we do the white row, and this one is going to be an increase row. And that's how you continue on and on making increases every second row by the stitch marker until you get a big enough size to separate for the body. 